All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We just got the latest update for our Tesla in the form of 2023.12.5. It is another dot release, so I am anticipating no real new features, more bug fixes, but let's jump into it. So as you can see, we are off to a great start. Release notes are not even loading up, uh, which is definitely weird, but let's go ahead and clear it out and see if we can jump into them and see if we'll pull up now. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, 2023.12.5 doesn't even have anything listed under there. It is all the same of 2023.12, which we've discussed enough. I'm not gonna drag this video out for you guys, but what I can tell you is in the app, when we went to update, it did in fact say there was just bug fixes that were part of this update. There was no feature set listed, as is common. One thing I do want to call out, the map, a lot of people were complaining, myself included, have this issue. You can see, say for instance, you zoom out of where your current location is, the map does not stick. And you can see that in this build, it does kind of rubber band back to your last point you were looking at, just like that. So unfortunately, that has not been fixed yet. No big deal, but just a call out for everyone to be aware of. This build here, like I said, it is obviously 2023.12.5 with the extender for 163BCA1E2C5E. One other call out I do want to mention to you guys, in this 2023.12 build, you would see there would be new labels if there was anything new here. And obviously search was included, so nothing will be listed there. But nothing is here. No new tags here. Under suspension, nothing here as well. Charging. Same old, same old, nothing here. Again, I do like this new slider bar. If you did see the prior video, it is so much easier to actually accurately slide without the visual of the car here. It is more room for the actual slider bar. Autopilot, we can see nothing here is new either. Locks, not assuming anything will be new here. Nope. Lights, pretty simple. Display, no new tags trip, navigation, safety, service, and software. Yeah. So as we anticipated, nothing new in this build. Uh, hopefully though, they will fix the map kind of rubber banding. I, one call out I do want to reiterate that we did discuss last time in YouTube. Finally, that issue we had discussed prior has now been fixed where you can now see finally videos again in at least 1080p rather than just be stuck on uh, 360. Now, as you can see, it didn't load up in the highest quality. It's at 720, but there you go. It's actually going to give us the option of 4K uh, as well as 2K and so on and so forth, but it will only pull up to the max resolution of this display. Obviously, it will take a little longer to load. I'm not in our garage, so it will load a little slower, but now, as you can see, you can toggle between all of the HD settings and ultra high definition settings as well. So big thumbs up that Tesla fixed it. You can see just how much better it looks like it did prior. So maybe that was just a glitch, but definitely is back and improved. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Nothing else, like we said, didn't find anything. Purely bug fixes. Good to see Tesla is still working on it. The only thing I can call out that was more specific to the Model S and Model X now. And I will actually zone in down for you guys here. When you actually had to use the manual toggles here, it was becoming more common than not, unfortunately, just because the auto shift was not working like it should be. Hopefully that is fixed. Sitting in the car for the first time, it actually worked as it was intended. So good start. Hopefully it'll continue. That's it for this one, guys. Let us know if you're experiencing any other bugs in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.